Hey everybody, Dr. Axe here. One of the biggest questions I get on a regular basis is about alkalinity and acidity and the importance of an alkaline diet. So today I wanna to bust any myths and also talk about, hey, is, there, is it legit that we need to become more alkaline? So here's what you need to know. Number one, it depends on the air of your body. Your actually stomach should be pretty darn acidic, whereas the rest of your body uh, maybe needs to be a little bit more alkaline. So it really depends on the body. Your entire body and different organ systems oftentimes operate best at different pHs. So it's important to remember. And listen, people tend to be more acidic, but not everybody. Some people can become too alkaline. So the most important thing is balance. And I'd also say it's not just about becoming more alkaline, it's how you're becoming more alkaline, okay? So, because uh, think about this. Let's say you be, try and become real strong and you try and build big muscles. There's ways to do it where you leave the joint joints healthy, but if you're trying to lift heavy weights and you're moving really fast and doing things that are hard on the joint, yeah, you build a big muscle, but your joints are suffering. I'd say the same thing. You can try and force yourself to become alkaline by consuming something really alkaline like bleach, but you're also gonna be damaging your digestive tract while doing it. So remember that there's actually a specific way to become alkaline and you do that by consuming foods that are rich in minerals and healthy minerals, okay? I've seen water companies talking about, hey, become alkaline, and the truth is they're getting their alkalinity from rocks, which we can't digest, that's not good. We should be getting our minerals from vegetables for the most part, which vegetables that, you know, if you remember a periodic table, CA+, Mg+, magnesium, calcium, these are more alkaline minerals which help alkalize your body. So the truth is, being coming alkaline is really important for the health of your, your, bone, your bone strength. It's important for relaxing muscles and decreasing pain. It's important for uh, your general digestive health. It's important for the health of your blood, your energy levels. So becoming more alkaline for most people is important. And the way you do that is by consuming lots of vegetables and some fruit, okay? And by doing that, you're good. On the same end, you wanna be consuming some wild organic meats, some nuts and seeds. For some people, some healthy sprouted, long cooked uh, whole grains. Uh, and by doing that, you balance yourself out and being perfectly alkaline and acidic right there in the middle where you should be. That's how all of us should be balanced. Um, I get questions oftentimes on, hey, how important is it to eat alkaline on a keto diet? It becomes even more important because when you're consuming a higher amount of fat, which is slightly acidic, and meat, which is more acidic, you need to go really, really high on the vegetables, herbs, and spices. So vegetables, herbs, and spices are very alkaline. And so, and also doing things like matcha green tea. Green tea is a fantastic alkaline forming uh, food that's high in chlorophyll. So that's great, broccoli, spinach. But things that are very green, sprouts, you know, radishes, but foods that are very green and fresh that you'd have in a salad, uh, or veggie juice, we wanna be doing loads and loads of those on a keto diet because when you do go keto, it's easy to become a little bit more alkaline or, or too, too, I'm sorry, a little too acidic when you wanna support your body in getting more alkaline. You also need to be conscious of not going overboard on the sodium rich foods. You wanna keep those minerals balanced, especially having higher levels of potassium and magnesium. Potassium and magnesium are critical for the health of many of your organs and also for keeping your blood and other fluids in your body with the right levels of electrolytes is really critical as well. But to answer your question, hey, should you become more alkaline? Most people should be, but don't think, hey, I become alkaline, it's a magic bolt to heal all these conditions. No, your body is like a building. You need different types of materials to produce the best type of home for your body. You need amino acids from meat. You need uh, healthy fats for all of your cells from things like avocados and coconut and even things like ghee and grass-fed butter and animal meats, but then also you need minerals, you need vitamins, you need antioxidants, and especially minerals which are alkaline. Your body needs that, your heart, your kidneys, different organs to function properly. So should you become more alkaline? Should all of us get more vegetables and fruits for the most part? Yes. By doing more vegetables and fruits, you are gonna become more alkaline. But remember this, it's not all about drinking alkaline water. It's not all about taking this supplement to make you alkaline. It's about getting more vegetables, fruits, herbs, and spices in our diet 
And by doing that, you're naturally gonna become more alkaline. I hope this help, helps answer your questions about the importance of alkalinity and acidity in your diet.